Hey guys, it's Heather here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the Town Hall 8 Dragon 2.0 Guide. That's right, this time it's personal. Their sweeper came out to take out our dragons, and for many of you, you got all Khaleesi and locked them in the catacombs. Well, my friends, it's time to fight back. Yes, I know many of you have been struggling to three-star with dragons now that you have to deal with that air sweeper. Even in my clans, I'm not seeing many dragon attacks anymore because hogs and hybrids are proving to be more effective. I've got to tell you, there's nothing better than the rush that comes from taking down a max defensive base with dragons. It's like dunking on a 7-5 guy and saying, you can't stop me. Yes, dragons are still alive and well, and this video is going to give you two major attack variants on how you can beat a max Town Hall 8 base. Now I'm going to assume that you've watched my original Town Hall 8 Dragon video. You must know all of those concepts before going into this video. You need to know how to funnel, what to look out for while you're funneling, how and where to drop your spells in your Barbarian King. You should also look at the first four Do This Not That video and also the short Air Sweeper video. That's going to give you a huge foundation of knowledge that I don't want to waste time repeating in this video. The introduction of the air sweepers caused us to refine some things, but it's not impacted the basic foundation of a dragon attack. The way to win with dragons is still the same. Kill the air defenses, kill the base. The air sweepers become a deadly force because now we are far enough into its existence that people know how to effectively place it on their base and they also have it maxed out. The problem with the air sweeper is it often allows your air troops to stay in range of the air defense, but not close enough to take it out. And you have seen countless times how one air defense can take out an entire army of dragons. What I've found is that if the base has their air defenses tightly packed together in the center, you can take three rages or even just two rages and one heal and funnel your dragons into that pack of air defenses and take them all out. You do this by funneling your dragons in behind the air sweeper in the sweeper blind, not going against the air sweeper. Nothing has changed. You take your level six balloons in your clan castle and you release those once the clan castle troops of the enemy are targeting your dragons. However, with dragons being so important to defend against in the very early stages of Town Hall 8, people are becoming very strategic in their placement of their air defenses. Often you'll find one air defense that's lingering on that second tier of the base's defenses. So some may think that go ahead and lightning that air defense, but rarely will that work. You can use three lightning if the remaining two air defenses you have to get down with your dragons are not protected by storages, the town hall, or the clan castle. You don't want your dragons having to take out those high hit point buildings while in range of an air defense. If those high hit point buildings are in front of those remaining two air defenses that you need to take down and the air defensive range covers them, you have to have rages to get to that air defense. Now, if there are storages that are and high hit point buildings that are blocking just the third air defense, you can still lightning that and be able to take out the remaining two air defenses just fine. Let's talk about the first strategy, backdoor looms. If when you scout the base, you find that the air defense is one or two defensive building hops away, you can take out this third air defense by using backdoor level six loons from your clan castle. For this setup, you take three rages. Two of those rages will be used for your dragons to help them get down the first two air defenses. The last rage is to be used for your balloons to come in through the back door. You want to hold off on using those balloons until the defenses have turned to fire on your main pack of dragons. If there is an archer tower that you need to take out that will be in range of your clan castle balloons, this would be a good time to drop your barbarian king to take the heat of that archer tower and then drop your balloons. I know you want to think of your troops as dumb, but guess what? They're incredibly smart. They will go to the nearest defense. So make sure you have dropped them so they are angled to go to the defense you want them to go to. You need them to get to the air defense in two hops. You might be able to squeeze a third, but not likely. 
So that air defense needs to be somewhat shallow so that you only need to take out one building before your balloons will be on the air defense. You need to hold back a little bit on that third rage. You want that rage to encompass all of the buildings that your balloons are going to take out. So don't rage them to speed them up on the outside. Rage around the buildings. So by the time they reach the air defense, they are still covered in a rage. Balloons are a very nice approach to get rid of that last air defense because they continue to soak up air traps and if they survive, they can really help your dragons do cleanup. Now for the second Dragon 2.0 strategy, and that is the Hogan. We are doing a bit of a throwback here. For those of you who were around at the beginning of the Clan Wars, you know that everything was about hogs and everyone wanted level 5 hogs in their clan castle. Dragon attacks were no exception. The popular method was to three lightning, one air defense, send clan castle hogs against the second, and then your dragons could take out the third air defense no problem. As hogs became nerfed and people started to pull their air defenses into the center of their base, the level six balloons in the clan castle became the go-to request. What's interesting, as new buildings and spells become introduced to the game, Almost as a means of shutting down these three-star attacks the community has developed, we can look back in our attack strategy history and resurrect some of these tactics that had proven to be very effective at the time. But now as the community has really developed and we have clan wars to really test, tweak, and modify attack strategies, we can take these old school ideas and make them better. And that, my friends, is the Hogan. The Hogan is a mass dragon attack with 10 level 3 dragons and 5 level 5 hogs in the clan castle, and you take 2 rages and 1 heal. So right there we've changed it up. With the backdoor loon method, we realize that 2 side by side rages can allow a wall of dragons to effectively take out 2 air defenses in that space. We will use that same concept with the Hogan. We also know that as long as there's no double giant bombs, your hogs can survive in a hill zone until that hill runs out. So the hill spell is for your hogs. Much like the backdoor loon approach, you'll use your clan castle hogs to take out that final air defense and hopefully other defenses that target air as well. You'll also need to wait to launch your hogs until your dragons are well into the attack you need to make sure that the clan castle has been dealt with. The dragon should be able to pull the clan castle and deal with whatever comes out along with your poison spell. But if there is a Valk in the clan castle, that could be a major issue for your Hogan because your dragons will not pull her out, but your hogs will. So keep that in mind when you're sending your hogs in. Another effective thing you can do using both of these tactics are to bring additional hogs or additional balloons instead of dragons. And that way you'll have even more of these defensive targeting troops to take out those air defenses. And you can even use this method to take down two air defenses. So maybe you're even stronger on your hog front than you are on your dragon front. So if you take eight hogs and you only take eight dragons, you're going to be going in with 13 hogs and a hill spell, and that can take down a massive section of the base. So look at the base and determine what's going to be the most effective way to get those air defenses down. Because once those air defenses are down, you don't need that many dragons to take out the rest of the base. I've found this concept to be most effective with the Hogan approach, where you take even more hogs, especially if you have level four hogs, and you should to attack that back side of the base. This way they can take down a massive amount of defenses before your dragons even get in range of those air defenses. Just be aware of the clan castle and have a means of taking that out so that the clan castle is not targeting your hogs. The pros of using a Hogan are that your hogs are not affected by the air sweeper or the air defenses. Often you'll find that that shallow air defense is also protected by the air sweeper, which will cause a lot of issues for your balloons under rage. Your hogs will have plenty of time to take out four defenses while in that hill zone, but you'll still want to make sure that you place your hogs so that they'll only have two hops to the air defense. 
That is the goal. Anything else that your hogs can pick up is bonus. The potential problems of a Hogan are multiple spring traps and double giant bombs. So be aware of that. You want to drop your hogs so that they can get to the air defense with very little room in between for traps to take them out. So look at the base and determine what's going to be the most effective way for you to take down that third air defense. Lots of room for ground traps. That's backdoor loons. There's a sweeper in range. That's a Hogan. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this guide up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And also let me know if there's other strategies you've developed to take on max Town Hall 8 bases with dragons. Make sure to download the Bindle app and join the room hashtag Clash Tutor to get help from me and others on how to do this attack. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links for all of those are in the sidebar to your left. And I will catch you next time.